no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on County Line. So, as you can see here, we are starting our passes. Um, it is now 4.35 at night. We got some cloud cover, so we got the lights turned on on this beast. Um, I also did a pass around it to make it a little bit wider on the ends. But otherwise, I haven't done anything more than I said I would do in yesterday's video, so... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we're just gonna keep at it here. Do some in-cab driving, I guess. So this is your Friday video, I believe. Yes, this is your Friday video. Um, by the time you're seeing this, I'm already at the farm. And as long as we haven't gotten any rain, I'm probably cutting hay <laughs> right now. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the week, um, I will have a farming video out on Monday because I'm not going to get a chance to record um, more farming videos prior to then so um, yeah so I will just get a farming video out for you guys Hopefully, anyways, I should be able to get something recorded. I'm hoping. Uh, it's just going to kind of depend on what happens, really, I guess. That must be like the, like the pig farm I'm assuming because of that. Yeah, that's the pig farm there. Uh, we got church over there in the distance, we got some houses. That I'm thinking is the dairy farm. Yeah. It's either the dairy farm or maybe beef. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there are pigs and beef on here, but I'm not positive. Okay, I need to adjust my cruise control here. So I have to have the planter lifted when turning, otherwise I'll start planting into that field. And I'm not quite sure yet if the Great Plains direct seeds or not. That's kind of why I'm keeping the disc and the John Deere around. Because uh, as you saw in yesterday's video, we sold those. But that's kind of the reason that I'm keeping those around, because if the Great, Great Plains does not, then we're going to have to run the disc around. And But otherwise, if it does not, or if it does direct seed, we can sell both of those as well. And basically the only things we don't is the combine, the headers, and the grain truck. And I am going to buy a pickup as well. I need to get an, another pickup. Um... I'm not going to do the Jeep because it's kind of ridiculous. I need to clear a few things out of the mods folder for 17 here because there's a few things that 
I downloaded it because I just wanted to see what they were like, and now I see what they're like, and I want to delete them. So. And then another thing I think um, is that, like, next season, when we. Um, when we seed and have to rent a tractor and stuff, I think I'm just gonna go for one of the Big Bud DLCs. Uh, one of the planters from that. One of the bigger planters. Like, I'm thinking maybe doing. Whoops, that's not a seeder. Uh, I'm thinking of doing maybe like these guys here because this one's 18 so it's actually not that much bigger than this thing it's only um, 5.2 meters bigger than this one is so it's not really a whole lot larger but it is you know a little bit bigger but it's not as big as the seed hawk is that's what I'm saying you know it's it's bigger but it's not ginormous like the seed hawk is but it'd be it'd be a good size and we got a grain truck so we can use that to fill it so but who knows maybe by next season we'll be able to afford you know some of this tillage stuff ourselves I know like the DB 90 and the DB 60 those direct seed so that's one thing that's kind of nicer about those but I haven't used the big bud stuff yet um, you know using this great plains will be the first time that I've used anything out of it so I don't know and I know I've watched some reviews on it but I don't remember much from them like whether or not they said anything about it or if they even tried it because I think if I remember correctly, I think the only ones I've seen, they've actually, like, cultivated ahead of time. So that really doesn't tell me much. I'm going to stop here quick. I'm going to turn off our lines. I'm going to go into screenshot mode that Definitely making quick work of this field. We just got one, two, three, four, five, six or seven passes that we'll have to do. So, I mean, it won't be too bad. It's definitely a whole lot faster than that little planter. These are just gonna be a couple of little tiny things here. And in all honesty, really, we could just rent our combine, you know, our harvest, all of our equipment. Could just, you know, rent it and hire it in and whatnot. But I want to own at least a little something. And. I don't know. It's kind of a horse apiece, really, doing it either way. Um, I don't think that it would really make much of a difference. I mean, it definitely helped because we won't have any... I mean, it, I don't know. 
we could do that. We wouldn't have any, you know, operating or like maintenance costs. So that'd really help us, you know, in fast forwarding time. How do I have a copyright claim? Hmm. I guess I have a copyright claim against one of the county line videos. I don't know why. Wasn't playing any music. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to check this out here. Uh, it was in episode two, getting started with planning. That is scheduled. This one will let me schedule it. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to check that out later here and figure out uh, why it is that I have a copyright claim. Didn't play any music in it. Not that I can think of right now. Yeah. I don't know. It's YouTube, it does some pretty stupid stuff. Yeah, I guess that's all I got. <laughs> it's only one, two, so there's not more than that. If there was like two, three, four, something like that, it'd probably get, probably be a bit of more of an issue, be like muted or something. But it's just the one, so I don't know. Maybe I accidentally turned the radio thing on. I don't know. Just got three more passes. Uh, sorghum left and then we can move on to the rye I mean while we got this planter hooked on we may as well just uh, finish with it we'll just have to run back and fill it and then we can uh, go over to field 10 maybe oh let's see here I'm trying to decide if I want to sell the machines and just stick to leasing And I may rent a seed tender, I guess. As long as it works with this trailer. I'm not 100% that it does. Because I haven't... I've used the seed tender once. So... I really don't know. And when I did use it, it was on something that didn't want to fill. So... I have no idea. Might just have to drive it all the way back to the farm and then drive back. I guess it wouldn't wouldn't be that awful to have to do that. I mean it would be rather annoying, but I'm just gonna check this email and see what it says. Cause I don't remember having any music on. So I have no idea why. Copyright content. Tread fast. Claimed by Audio Network. Oh, uh, we have one more pass after this one. Man, we're gonna have to run back and get seed before. Unless maybe I can get this guy to hire. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go back. Okay, yeah, I gotta see this here, because this is... This isn't making sense.
1019 to 1056. I suppose I probably shouldn't play it right now. Okay, once this starts, I'm gonna just mute my mic really quick. We're out of seed, okay. So yeah, once this thing decides to start, I'm gonna mute my mic so that I can listen to it and see what exactly happened. But yeah, we gotta run back and get seed anyways here. Be back in a second, guys. So it turns out that the menu sound is what's causing the issue. Okay. Well, that's stupid. That they would put a copyrighted song as the <laughs> as the game sound or the like a, it's the one when you open the game is what it is. That's kind of stupid. That's well, our toolbox. Okay, so what we're gonna do here? this guy up here I'm going to sell the combine and all this stuff I am gonna do it and we're gonna keep the disc and the tractor and then all of our placeables the toolbox will sell as well but we're gonna keep the tractor the disc and our placeables and then for a pickup I want to buy I don't know if I want this Dodge or this Chevy Chevy 3500. So I want to get that, and then I want to get. Where is Misk? No, that's not where it's at. Where is it? Um, Auger Wiggins? Where is Auger Wiggins at, even? Auger Wiggins. Okay, and then I won't buy the Meridian. And then we will just have those shipped back to us. We'll reset that. And reset that. Ah, it's this one. And it does not even have sound on it. Yep, that truck is broken. Alrighty then. That thing's junk. Well, we'll go with this Dodge then. Uh, we'll just keep the 6-7 auto in there. Or manual, excuse me. We'll get it in black. Wheel setup. Chrome. Let's see, we want... We want toolbox and headache rack on that. 
I guess I should have leased the uh, tender and not bought it. But whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Drop the toolbox. Must not. I'm doing my mouse controls, it's not doing anything. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Maybe it's for something that a feature that I don't have on here or something. Okay, so then what I want to do here is I want to take this over and put just a little bit of seed in it. And then make sure, because if this does not fill the planter, then I don't want to have a whole bunch of seed in it. And then it'd be useless to me. This is not the greatest pickup either, but... Okay, that should be plenty. And we gotta pull out of the trigger here. And then we need this guy, which we're gonna put up here for 10. So that is going to fill it. Sweet. So we will fill this tender completely up. And then we can take this guy and move him out of the way a little bit. In fact, we'll just take this guy back to the field here. We are going to cut across. time here. Oh, we still got a little bit. I like doing that, laying off the gas and then stomping on it. That's pretty neat to listen to. So I think we actually have enough seed to finish off our little bit of sorghum here. Whoa, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Did not realize that. We're going to get our lines brought back up. We probably don't need to drive across our field. <laughs> Suppose we'll just pick up this little piece here first. Finish off our sorghum or Milo. Then we'll switch on over to. Let's see, we got field 11 first, so we'll switch on over to oats. Which I just gotta double check here. Which one is oats? Okay, that that one. I was pretty sure it was that one, but uh, just wanted to double check. Our 
truck is fully filled up. Minus one dollar wage payment. Hmm. I don't know what I'm paying a wage payment on. I'm the only one running stuff. So I don't know how this lease thing works in this game. I'm not sure how this works here. I'll have to do a little bit of looking on that. See if I can figure out uh, what I do with it. How it exactly all works. So field 11 is this one. Yeah, okay, so that's field 11 right there. All these colored roads are kind of annoying. The whole PDA is kind of, in a way, annoying. Just kind of the way it's set up. Alright, and we're done with Sorghum. We'll get this folded back up, and now we need to switch to oats. <clears throat> we just got the oat field and then the rye field to plant with this, and then we can switch over to the Great Plains. And then we can find out if it actually direct seeds or not. Which, by the time you guys watch the video, I'll probably have already figured it out. But... Because I'll have probably recorded a video with it already. Maybe, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> so we can turn our GPS off for now. So we don't need it at the moment. But we will again after a little while. Yeah, if it removes that grass stuff, we know the Great Plains is going to work flawless. If not, I'm going to have to get rid of that and get the, um, like the DB90 or something. Because I'm not going to sit and disc everything. That's just going to be a pain in the butt. But anyhow, we got our pickup, so let's get this going and get out of here with it. Ugh, if I can get my chair to scooch back up. I do have to say, this, this is a pretty nice interior. I mean, it's a pretty nice truck. It just has a couple of things that are rather annoying about it. Like, uh, it's a little, I think it's a little underscaled actually. But, like, you can auto-load stuff with it. It's kind of weird. And I don't know if it's this truck or if it's the Meridian that the attacher joint is screwed up in. Because it should definitely be a little bit farther down than it actually is. So, My guess is that it's the pickup. 
But okay, so what we're gonna do here, we're going to we're gonna fill this up first. And we need to open the cover on it yet. To get everything closed up first so I can run out and grab a screenshot right away. Well, I didn't capture what I wanted to, but so that filled up mighty fast. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do is just basically end the video and start the next one. So if you, enjoy, you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.